hi it's been four days since I put the texture on this and it's just about as almost completely hard hard but I'm gonna show you and uh, it's you still see that when I press. it's still okay to work on nothing's falling off it's pretty dry I mean it's still a tiny bit tacky but not too bad so I'm going to go ahead and work on this and what I want to do is I'm going to take a, a paintbrush over it to get uh, anything that's loose off I don't think there's going to be too much loose stuff on there but we'll give it a try anyway I'm just going to take a, a brush over this there's one thing fell off Okay, here we go. And I think it was this way. Yeah. Everything's pretty, pretty hard. Everything's stuck on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one coat of, boy, there's a real bad glare on this. And that light, I wonder, if, oh, it's, I think it's this light. I'm going to see if I can uh, move that light a little bit so that there's not so much of a glare. Now I'm going to go over this entire thing with one color. And one color only. I'm going to use my brayer. Well, that's not really working. Boy, this is a transparent green, I'll tell you that much. This is uh, Gamblin's uh, olive green. What I mixed up was uh, Gamlin's Permanent Green Light, so I'm going to use that instead of that olive green. It's pretty color. Then after I put it on with this, I'm going to go over it with a brush and get into all those uh, nooks and crannies. brush and try to get it, all of these little mixing cr crannies done. But Linda, why did you pick up such a little brush? Lord have mercy. That's better.
might leave a little, I think I'm going to leave a little bit of it showing. smooth that out a little bit with my rare. Then I'm going to let this set up a little bit before I'm going to continue to paint. I'm going to let this sit for about, oh, 30 minutes, and then uh, we'll start painting. I'm excited about this piece. I just want you to know I'm, I'm really excited. I love that color. Don't know what uh, I'm going to put on top of it yet, but I like it. So, Okay, it's angle. been about 45 minutes, so I'm going to start painting this. This is still pretty wet, um, but it's not as wet as it was. So uh, I'm going to start off with my oiler boiler first by putting on some uh, gamsol and then pulling it. I think I'm also going to spray it a little bit. If I can get some to come out, there we go. Okay, I'm going to go over this again with some more warm white. I've taken my oiler boiler and made a lot of different marks. So, here we go. fully charged my brayer.
some lines in with the edge of my brayer. Now that is flake white, all the parts of it, which I am liking. I'm just making lines with my brayer. Okay, I'm going to quit for now and I'll give you a close up of what's going on. Okay, so tomorrow I'll come back to it. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is what it looks like right now, and I'm gonna give you a close up of some of these areas. You can see the white, flake white over top of the warm white. You can see some of the red coming through. See a lot of that red coming through there. And there. There's a lot going on that you can't see from a distance. So that's what it looks like right now and tomorrow. And even though it looks a lot whiter than what it really is, right now it's kind of a uh, very light yellowish green. So I am going to stop right here, let it dry. We will continue on tomorrow. And just by the way, I just mixed up these colors today. These are some of the colors I was thinking about putting into it. Now I'm not positive. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thanks guys. I am in my studio again and uh, I'm going to start painting this. Uh, I left it off here yesterday and it's very set up. It's not completely dry, but it's not wet either. So, uh, and I'm going to do a little bit of a abstracted landscape, I think. So, but I don't know where it's going to end up, so we will see. And I'm going to use my bold scraper most of the time. I might use some uh, palette knives, might use my brayer don't know for sure yet. So here we go. And I don't think the glare is as bad today. I had this turn just a little bit so it wouldn't be as much glare. So we'll see. And I did do an oiler boiler in this area right here because I wanted to see if I could pick up some. So I think I'm going to start off with the oiler boiler. I think I'm going to sprinkle some on with my brush. Because I want a lot of history. You can see my 
Gamasol is dirty. That's what that is. And I'm going to leave it on for a while because this, like I said, it's not complete. I'm going to let it on for about a minute because this is not real wet, so. Okay, we're going to try to pull it now. Hopefully it's been on long enough. Oh, yeah. Now hopefully you can see all of that. I think I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm doing this so we have lots of history in the painting. warm in here today. Okay, I'm going to pull it now. I think that's a lot of good history. Now, I don't know how much of this is going to show through, but I want some of it to show. Maybe I'll make some lines with this. Okay, I have a lot's going on now. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it, this to you up close. You can see a lot of the lines. A lot going on. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting. Trying to get it where there's not a whole lot of glare on it. Okay, I'm going to start painting now. I think my horizon is going to be like right in here.
white with just a hint of purple in it. Can't really see that. sky later. I just want to get the hint of the sky right now.
It's in its very ugly stage right now. Welcome to walk around. Okay, doing. If you have any questions, just let me know. There's okay. actually there's three of us in here: myself, my oh. husband, and my daughter. Okay, I have my landscape pretty well defined. And always make sure that you go around your edges. Right now it's pretty ugly. This is Indian yellow that I'm working with now. Some plain Indian yellow and some Indian yellow with white in it. Get excited. I don't know if I like that blue. Maybe I will later when I put my yellow over top of it.
This is, uh, I think it's cinnabar green, but I'm not positive. Like I say, it's going to be a very abstract landscape. This is a lot of texture right in through here. There's texture over here. experimenting and playing. I'm not even thinking. I'm just, what would happen if I'm in one of those movies? You can see I had a lot of paint on there. With this being so abstracted down there, I'm going to really have to abstract it up above. But I'm not done with this area here yet. Maybe. Just maybe. I'm liking all of this. I'm liking this.
I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Okay, what to do with the bottom? I'm thinking it needs to be a dark green. What does this look like? I want to mess it up. It has to be a darker green. better. Okay, I'm going to stop and mix up some greens because I'm, uh, I need some. So I'll be right back. Then I'm going to put some color on top of it. That's a, what I'm planning on anyway. I need something dark down there. What I have right now is not working. in it here and there. Let's change it up some. Now I'm going to take color over top of it. But I think I'm going to let this sit a while and I'm going to start working up here again. I like that because you're not sure where the sky stops and the ground starts. I like that, but who knows? It might get it might get uh, covered up. Who knows? I just wanted to make the sky messy because the ground is so messy. I don't want it to look like two different paintings.
even picked up a little bit of green there, which I'm happy about. like that. mix up some more white, uh, warm white to put in there, but I'm happy with that for now. I think I need just a little bit more blue right here because I'm going to put a tree or a bush or something in through here. like that. Over through here somewhere. Feeling very creative today, boys and girls. This green, by the way, it's cinnabar green light.
Okay, it's getting really, really wet. Pull some of these lines up in here. Well, I do like what I see so far. You and me, you know me and my lines. in there. Okay, I'm going to stop and let this set up until tomorrow. And then we are going to finish it tomorrow. I like what I see. I'm thinking about putting some bushes. You can see that little bit of green up in there. I, think I want a little tiny bit more of that green. I like that green up in the sky. dark in. I like that. I 
like that. Okay, I'm going to stop for now. This needs a lot of work down in here. I'm going to put streaks of color down here tomorrow. I really like that blue in there. I like that. Okay, I'm going to quit. How many times have I said that? Okay, I'm quitting. And I really like what I have. I'm going to work on this tomorrow and, and work on this tomorrow and on my sky. And I should be able to finish it tomorrow. So we're going to let it sit. And I thank you for watching. And subscribe, please. I can't tell you how much I enjoy your comments and everything else that I've been seeing on my uh, channel. Um, it's so good to know that you are enjoying my videos because I enjoy so much filming them and showing you how to do different things. Now this is a very creative piece for me. It just came and some days it comes and you learn that as an artist and sometimes it doesn't come and you've seen me struggle so um, appreciate those days when it just seems to come together and thanks again guys <laughs>